Hello everyone, I'm Tammy and welcome to my craft room here at Creative Girl Vintage. I wanted to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day and thought I would put together a St. Patrick's assemblage using mostly vintage materials and I wanted you to stick around because I'm also going to share my St. Pat's vintage decorations that I've collected over the years. So if you're up for a little St. Patty's Day crafting project, let's get started. <music> I'm going to start this project with a vintage cabinet card. I know I think I've did this on some other projects and I never use one that's just a beautiful collectible cabinet card obviously. I usually get grab the one that's all faded out and you can see the back of this one. It's just kind of a mess but this is a really good solid foundation so I really like using them and I like all this black trim and I like this writing. So the first thing I'm going to do is in my sheet music. I just happened to be going through it one day and I saw this. It said, the dear little shamrock. Isn't that sweet? So I set it aside because I was like, you know, I'm going to have a project for that. I just know I am. So I cut it to fit right here and we're just going to start layering things onto this cabinet card. So I think I'll start with um, some Fabrifix. Get that going here. Just a little bit on the back of this sheet music. And then we'll put our first layer down, like so. Okay. I'm going to let some of that black show through there. I like that. That really looks nice. Okay, so like I said, we're layering this up. Look at this vintage green and white, like a crochet lace. Isn't that just beautiful? So I got a little piece here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on the back so it peeks out. I'm just going to do that with my hot glue gun today. So today I have um, the sump pump is joining us. It's running today. <laughs> Out here on the East Coast, we've had a lot of rain and uh, some some snow, and it's just been it's just been messy. So um, the sump pump is working, and you can probably hear the boiler as well because it's also been really cold too. Okay, so we have a little backdrop here of some lace. And you know what I think. I think I would like a little bit more. I'm just going to put another layer. This is so pretty. It's just two. We'll do two layers of it on here. Okay, grab some scissors here. All right. I know those of you that watch the tour of my craft room, which is in my basement, I think I introduced you to my friends, the boiler and the sump pump. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a good thing going here. Let's keep going. So here's a piece of just a little calico fabric. And the reason I thought I would throw this in is because I liked adding a little bit of color to this. And this had just a little touch of like some greens and pinks. So I'm going to layer this in right here. It's just going to kind of be in the background. But all these layers just look so good together. They come out really nice at the end. Okay couple of things here. Look at this piece of crochet, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? So I've got that and then this vintage greeting card. I think it was a Cocker Spaniel on the back, but you know, sometimes you can look at these cards and think of them in a new way. Like I found these for Valentine's Day, you know, with the Queen of Hearts and beautiful, just beautiful things. So I thought, let's do, maybe just tuck that in like that. So let's start with this piece of crochet here. I'm going to get this on first, right here. And then this guy, he's tucking in right back here, like so. We'll just have him peeking out a little bit right there. All right, moving right along from a vintage um, greeting card. Here, I'm going to put these little things aside. I'll pull them out later. From a vintage greeting card, I scanned her and cut her out, printed her out and cut her out. Isn't she so cute? And look at her on here. She definitely is a dear little shamrock, I gotta say. Okay, so let's see. I guess I can fabric fix her down as well. You know, I always have to go for that glue gun. But this works since we already have it out. I'm gonna layer her right there on that vintage crochet. Oh, that it looks so sweet. Okay, and right here I have 
this was a piece, another piece of old crochet. I love the color. Isn't that color pretty? And then I used the alphabet beads and I glued them on so everything's all together here and ready to go. And I love that right there. So I thought that would be really pretty right there. So let's get a little glue on there and lay that right there. I'm leaving that black showing there from that cabinet card. I love that. Okay, now some finishing touches. I've got a piece of vintage green seam binding ribbon and I thought that would be pretty on her dress right there. And um, this is this is what I was pulling off of there before. I was testing it out to see how it looked. These are some little things I found at the craft store. They It says Twinkle Goosebumps. They're just little self-adhesive, sparkly, little green dots. And since she has this little basket here of shamrocks, I was thinking these might be cute right in her basket. So we'll pop those guys right in there. Um, look at this plastic shamrock from the 60s. Is this not wonderful? I've got a collection of a lot of flowers, these plastic flowers like this. Uh, one of my subscribers, the lovely Joan, she sent these to me, a couple of these, and because uh, she knew I liked them, and we share that. And I was thinking that this would be just so lovely right on this project right here. So I'm going to hot glue that in place right there. This is a just a simple little rhinestone. And I'm adding that right on to my shamrock. Give it a little bling right there. Let's make sure this is staying down. Okay. Looking good. And to finish this up, I'm going to pull out a glitter that I think is just such an amazing color. And this came from my beautiful granddaughter, Aubrey. One year for Christmas, she decided I needed this set of beautiful colors of glitter. I tell you guys, uh, I'm just not really sure if anyone brightens up my world as much as that beautiful child. I just... I'm just loving that girl. Okay, how about a little on her hair, a little on her dress? How about right around maybe on the uh, on the shamrock a little bit? This little dusting of glitter is what we need. That was a little too much to dust right there. So let me pull some of that off. Okay. Let me see what have I got here. Let me grab something. Oh, this will work. Didn't want to get glitter everywhere if I didn't have to. All right, a little dusting, her hair, her dress. And shake that off. Okay, she's adorable. All right, so I could um, I could have put a hanger on this, but what I decided, I did get glitter everywhere, right? You can't help it. It's just the way it is with glitter. <laughs> So what I decided I wanted to do, this is just one of those um, cardboard easels, you know, with the adhesive on it. And this is the five inch size. And you can pull the adhesive off right here at the top. And let me just stand this up. Oh, that's plenty of glitter dropping off there. And I'm just sticking this right to the back like so. Okay. And there she is. Now, I think this would be beautiful to just prop up just about anywhere and enjoy it for years to come, right? Isn't that the sweetest? Okay, let me grab my vintage things to share with you. Okay, vintage St. Patrick's Day, all right? So this is one of my favorite little collections, and this is compliments of my friend Mary. When she would come visit around this time of year, she would always bring me one of these little lapel pins, these little plastic pins, and aren't they just so cute? Look at the little leprechaun. These are so sweet, and the little earrings with the screw backs, so cute. This is a really sweet little collection. At the flea market one day, I found this book, Why God Loves the Irish. It was a dollar, of course. So um, I have an apron hanging.
hanging in my kitchen with a big pocket and I'll usually tuck that right in there along with this postcard which I cannot remember where I got this postcard but it is the most wonderful little image and I love cats so of course this is one of my favorite things of all times this is a little leprechaun planter and I found him on eBay years ago um, he wasn't one of my $2 specials from the flea market by no means, uh, so I had to pay. And uh, this is made by Relpo in Japan. They're usually always numbered. Uh, Relpo is primarily known for their head vases. I do have some Valentine Girl planters as well. And you can see just really how adorable these faces are on these Relpo pieces. I feel like they're just a little bit better quality, so I really enjoy these. In my sunroom, I have a shelf, and I have um, my Valentine planners, Halloween, the St. Patrick's Day, and um, I keep them out all year. I just love them. I love looking at them. So one morning, walking through the flea market, there was a table, and it had um, all completely brand new things on it. And of course, I kind of like zeroed right in on these two little guys. And they had their little Japan stickers at the bottom. And um, they're just absolutely adorable. They had such cute little faces. So of course, they were $2, so I had to have these. So they came on with me and I keep them on display with their little friend right here all year long and uh, enjoy them as well. So I also have, this is just a box filled with all kinds of goodies. Look at this guy, isn't he cute? He's a little dollar flea market fine. This, this was from my friend Mary, this little pin. That's just so sweet. So this has a lot of little things and some little things I'll use for crafting as well. So I think my little girl that I made today, my little assemblage is going to fit perfect with all my decorations this year. So um, thank you guys for stopping in today. I'm wishing you a pot of gold this St. Patrick's Day. And may every petal on the shamrock bring you luck and joy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.